On the fifth day of creation, after God spangled the universe with planets, stars, and galaxies, he introduced something completely new into creation, life. The Bible describes a whole range of things as living, from birds to cattle, from fish to humans, even God himself. Since God is a spirit and alive, this is a clue that life is not physical. But the Bible doesn't actually define what life is. When science textbooks try to define life, they describe DNA, or cells, or chemical reactions. Biology textbooks end up describing what living things are made of, and what living things do. They do not actually define life itself. What happens, for example, when an animal dies? DNA and cells are still in place, but life is missing. Life can't be weighed or measured. It seems to be beyond the tools of science. The non-physical nature of life may explain why biologists are so unsure about which things are alive. In fact, their list of living things does not entirely match the Bible's list. The Bible, for example, never describes plants as living. Instead, it calls them green things. The word living does not appear in the Bible until God made the animals of the sea two days after he created plants. The marvelous animals of the air, sea, and land are all described as living things. Where did this mysterious life come from? We can't even restore life to an animal that has died, let alone create life from scratch. The Bible tells us that life is a gift of God. The abundance of living things all around us is a daily reminder of our living God, who is the source of all life.